Over the past 23 years, Hellex has dominated the world of supreme hardcore death metal. They have won over 40 Grammys in this period. With swift riffs and talented drumming, along with slaptastic bass, Hell X is considered the best band to ever grace this earth. They have participated in many advertising campaigns, including the ever-popular Captain Morgan. But at the height of their music-making career, lead singer and guitarist Britney Death overdosed on cocaine and died. The loss of Britney Death proved tragic for the band. Fortunately, we were able to get in one more interview just two days before the loss of Britney Death. What brought you into music? Um, I'd probably say Satan or the Beastie Boys. What brought me into music? Uh, well, I started off doing piano, but it just it wasn't metal enough, you know? It was kind of soft. Well, I hope you can understand. My father used to beat me as a child. Until I was about 20 years old. How old are you now? 20. And three yeah. halves. What song influenced you to be in a rock band? Um... Either Necropedophilia by Cannibal Corpse, or... I can show you the world by Aladdin. I hope you can understand that I can show you the world. Hey, shut up. Okay. Sit. Sit. No singing. So I hear you have the best drum set in the world. Probably. Let's can go I check see it, it? Alright. Awesome. So this symbol right here, you see this symbol? It was made from the finest metals in the world, along with, I have some of Satan's horn actually mixed into the symbol there. It inspires me. I see it's a first act. Yeah. I bought it from Walmart for $120. Um, people at Walmart, they really know how to do business. So I hear you have a massive guitar collection. Oh yeah. May I see it? Let's go. That's it right there. It has such versatility that it's like 50 guitars put into that little tiny guitar. It's the best guitar in the world. In the world? Yes. What do you think is the best aspect of guitar? Probably the ladies. You know, they're they're awesome and they kind of like cling on you a lot and they help you write your music. How did you get your bass? Well, it originally was a guitar. But I hope you can understand, I lost a couple of strings, so now that makes it a bass. Can you please explain your bassoristic styles? Well, I hope you can understand, it's bongo jonky style. Bongo jonky style? What is that? Uh, the style of bass where you pick up your bass and you play it like this. Well, that's fun. I see you're wearing a karate shirt. Does this mean you do karate? Well, uh, I've never really taken a karate class, but it does make me feel like a badass. You know? What is your favorite color, sir? I'd have to say blurple. Really? What is blurple? Well, um, it's a mixture between blue and purple, hence the name Plurple. And uh, the way I figured this color out is I was using markers and I was drawing a picture of myself. And I used blue and purple and they mixed together and it's just awesome. Hmm, my 
favorite color? Well, I hope you can understand it's green. Why would it be green? I just love leprechauns. Uh, my favorite color? Um, red. Blood red. <laughs> If uh, you had to pick a favorite movie, what would it be, sir? Uh, um, ah, la 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 la. Shaborka Bingest. I guess when Harry met Sally. I hope you understand that. I'd probably say Skin Deep. Uh, you probably haven't heard of it. It's an independent film, but uh, go check it out at your local blockbuster. It's amazing. any other music. I only listen to the music that I create because it's the best music in the world. Uh, I hear that you're the master or have been the master of bassristic solos for over 20 years. Oh yes I am. May we see one here tonight. You may be privileged. Fantastic. Oh, that, that was good. All right. Oh, okay. Would it be too much to ask of you that we see a little guitar solo here today? Not at all. Guitar. Thank you, Betty. Let's head on in. This is my app of choice. It's a Fender. It makes weird noises. All right. Yeah, that's why they call me the best. Could you grace us with one of your drum solos? Surely. Yeah! All in all, they really were an incredible band. With Britney Death as lead guitarist and singer, Tommy Thrinkivus rocking the drums, and Timmy Skaborkabingus at bass. They stuck through thick and thin together. And they proved to be all time the greatest band who ever lived. And that is how the band came to be. What you say? What did she say?